Hi, I'm Canadian artist Roxanne Jervis. I was doing a new technique with the acrylic paints and you will see as you look at this video that um, what I started with is totally opposite from what I finished with. But I would really like you to take the time to watch the whole video because as you go through it, you will see there are many, many times that I could have stopped and had a nice painting. Here I kept on going. Um, at some point I was thinking this is really ugly, but what it turned out to be was a rather interesting piece of work. Certainly not like my style, but it had my paintbrush moving fast and just watching the colors evolve. So please watch this whole video through if you have the time because you will find it quite interesting. And what I would really like you to do is if there's a point in the video when this piece is evolving, look at the time on the clock and then just put what time it was that you thought I should have stopped the painting. I'd like to see how many people will actually um, take the time to analyze what's happening with the work as it progresses. And uh, have some fun painting when you have no idea where you're going with it. Um, the painting that I finished called The Last Maple Key actually is sitting here on the table. When we started that painting I was using this new technique and it didn't work out. I didn't like how the colors worked so I took a brush and blended all the colors together and created a different painting out of it. So today I'm going to try again using a different method. The method that one had was taking the paint right out of the tube and it was just far too dense. So I've taken a container here and put a little bit of water in each of these little cups and I've got some of these coffee stir sticks and I'm going to just thin the paint down a wee bit in order to make it more not so not so intense. I've, I've mixed these paints now with a little bit of water and I learned something from the last time that I had put the dark too many dark paints on and I should have put more lights on so that when the darks blend with it. I've put a variation of reds, oranges and yellows because I think they look nice and I've got a dark ultramarine blue here to punch in some of the dark tones and I'm going to see if I can do it by putting some of the paint on with a stick and I'm going to just try and make sure that I don't have a line dead center vertically or dead center horizontally. horizontally. Now that looks like it's got way too much water in it for the amount of paint. And so much for saying I'm putting the lights on first, so I better go back and do that now. The other thing I should have done, which I didn't do on the last painting, was miss the canvas first. These are just random lines. I'm not sure whether it's going to work out or not, but that's what the fun is with this kind of piece. Now we'll take a piece of saran wrap and put it on the canvas. 
Then I have this clear, clean roller. And we're going to just let the paint do what it does when I mix the colors together. Well, it's certainly different now that I've got the, the canvas underneath sprayed. <laughs> this is cool. Hopefully this yellow and blue will mix together a wee bit. I also noticed that by misting the canvas, <clears throat> I'm able to carry a little bit of the color right out to the blank spots on the edges. Looking at it upside down, it looks like it could be a bouquet of flowers, funny as it may seem. The roller's still clean. So now we'll take this off and we'll just let it dry. going to just put a bit more color on in here. Wrong side. towel around the edge here because it seems like I've got paint running. It was at this point on my last maple key that I didn't like all the scrunchiness of the paint and I had taken a paintbrush and just softened the edges a wee bit. Depending on how much paint you have on, you might want to do that. I kind of want to spread this blue around a wee bit more. But obviously, that messes up the whole texture. So let's see if I can just use this as you would. If you like it, try it with your students or just try it to see how colors intermingle. It's a fun exercise to do. I'm not really keen on what's happened. So I'm going to take a dry brush and I'm going to just work some of these colors in one into the other. I'm going to start with the lighter tones because I think that's the best way to go. And you never know what you might end up with. This is also a good exercise to get used to moving your brush around the canvas and just see what you get. I'm staying away from the blue right now because it's so powerful. And I'm not just doing one whole area. I'm, I'm picking up a bit from each area so that the colors aren't a solid plot. Or who knows, I might leave some of these. You know, when you mix the blue with some of these green yellows, you're going to get a, a green end up out of it. I like to paint around the edges, just makes it easier in the end. 
then trying to match things up later on. Now this is acrylic paint, so it should dry fairly quickly. So that's why I'm, I'm working fast.
Well, this is crazy, crazy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'll leave it like this. Probably not. But you can see you can play with these colors after and really get into a big mess. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time.